Welcome to All Things Possible TV. I'm excited to have you here with me. This week we are talking about an evening of healing. We're also talking about an energetic body scan. This is our energetic body scan. You can see that there's a whole sheet of things. On this scan we're going to actually energetically test you, muscle test you, for your immune system, your brain, your heart, any pathogen energies, those are like viral, bacterial, fungal, mold, parasite, toxicities that you might have, any nutritional needs. We go through foods, herbs, nutritions, possible allergies, and reasons to avoid things, and we also check the organs and glands. Now when we go through all of these organs and glands, everything from hypothalamus, your pineal gland, your thyroid, all the way through to bladder, all of it. Why we do this particular scan and why we take time to do that is that it allows us to have a really good idea of what's happening in your body. What areas need you to take action and actually find what's going on. By the time that we actually get disease, this has been going on for quite a while. Our different systems in our body have been out of alignment and so much can be done through energy healing to give you comfort, relief, and correct the imbalances. We do a free evening of healing event that we love to have people come because they're able to watch as we pull volunteers out of the audience to actually be healed that evening. We do a short little presentation on explaining this and we pull up one person to do a scan on. This episode is going to show you that live at one of our events having this done. Scanning through and how he does that intuitively and muscle test. Now he muscle tests on himself and you will be able to see that in this episode. We have a great a great person that's our volunteer, actually a dear friend that showed up to one of the events and, and she was really surprised at how much she had going on but you'll also see in this that there were a lot of things that she's like, that makes sense, that makes sense, that makes sense. It's amazing when you get really involved in, in energy healing and in raising your vibration to a higher level, raising your energy levels, improving your health, how much you can do, you can become, and how much you can get rid of. I know through a lot of different issues, I've had pain, I've had lots of discomfort, and we've been able to do miraculous things with my help and wellness by having energy healing. Intuitive energy healing is so important. And because Bill is certified and trained in so many different modalities, if one thing isn't working, he's able to move to something else. So watch this episode that shows Bill Barney, my business partner and husband, as the intuitive energy healer and shows you the body scan, the energetic body scan that we do at each event. If you watched the episode last week or the last episode, I'm not sure if it was last week or the week before, but we had an episode out that showed an actual healing episode. So we show someone who's actually a volunteer and he heals her leg pain. It was phenomenal to be there because her pain went from a really high level to gone. And she had been to many doctors and had not been able to heal that. So if you haven't seen that, go back and see that also. We love being able to do an evening of healing and we love being able to serve and to have this opportunity. So watch as we join Bill and go into an energetic body scan at a live event. Here we go. The red net coming out. I'm sorry. So, Jane's immune system is functioning at about 50 or 40, 43 percent of total capacity. So, if I was going to begin to do a lot of work with her, we'd want to start to work on her thymus, on her bone marrow, on different aspects of her immune system, find out exactly what that is. But there's a little bit of work to be done there. Brain messages reaching the organs and glands intact. Oh boy, girl. I'm going to eat you a set of crutches. No. <laughs> <laughs> above 30, above 40, above 35. 38% of brain messages reaching the organs and glands intact. What that indicates is there's some issues with the spine. 
as the uh, spinal cord goes down through and goes out between each of the vertebrae, so nerves are getting pinched, and that and those messages are not getting through. How, how are you determining How am I determining? Muscle testing. Uh, kinesiology muscle testing, if you see me doing this with my fingers. When I'm in sessions, a lot of times I don't even do that. This stuff will come to me, but with everything going on, I just want, this is my crap. This is my training wheels I'm going back to, okay? <laughs> Anybody have any questions about muscle testing, where that comes from? With intuition? I just did that, but I didn't realize that's what you were doing, so. Okay, very good, very good. So, yeah. Um, uh, percentage of heart messages reaching the body tissue. Hey, you're doing good. 82% on the heart messages. That indicates a lot of issues around the heart, and that can really affect relationships and prosperity and abundance and health if that one's low. Uh, so that actually looks pretty good. That is the first place I would start. Are there any pathogen energies that need to be dealt with? What's Viral? a pathogen? A pathogen is either a virus or a bacteria. Or bacteria, yeah. Bacterial, tongue, mold, or parasites. Okay. <laughs> I didn't major in English, okay? That's okay. I can read it. Did you have a virus? Did you have bacterial? No. Virus, fungal, parasite. So a lot of people think, oh, we live in the United States, we can't have parasites. <laughs> no. Believe me, uh, I'd say probably close to 85% of people have some I know kind of I have parasites in their system. So I'm working on that. Good. There's toxicity an issue for you, yes. General to heavy metal toxicity. It's an issue, so just put a check by heavy metal toxicity. I'm not going to go into nutritional needs. There's some charts that I pull up, but it's too confusing to go back and forth on the screen. Uh, but I have some charts, and, and I don't, I'm not an herbologist or nutritionist or uh, foodologist. I, <laughs> but intuitively, with these charts, sometimes the body wants a certain food, a certain nutrient. Uh, last night, I sat down, I was a little bit early for a then I thought, you know what, I can't see this. I'm going to work on my eyes. So I, I did a few chapter motions on my eyes. And all once it led me to, my eyes wanted some romaine lettuce. <laughs> What's about? So I got on the internet to find out. And they said, oh no, green leafy vegetables are great for the eyesight. Okay, so anyway, but we're not going to do that right now. But that's what that section is because the body will ask for certain things sometimes. Or they'll say there's things it wants to avoid. Adding too much. So I found him out grazing in the garden last night. <laughs> Come in, quick reason. Okay, so organs and glands, these are the ones, and I'm going to ask if they're in a state of happiness or contentment, and uh, the body will just say, hey, I'd like to pay some attention to that. So there will be several things that, I hope not several things, but there may be some things that just say, no, I have no issues at all with my lungs, and they'll show up as wanting some attention. Again, that may be something that if it's not paid attention to a year, five years down the road, then she's having respiratory issues. If that would be so, hypothalamus uh, or expenses. Parathyroid's in good shape. So check all the other four on the first line. Thymus, check that. Liver, gallbladder. Stomach, pancreas, left and right adrenals, hit the whole line from the kidneys to the colon. Next line, check it off too. How's your prostate? Oh, personal, wasn't it? Now, people say, oh, I've had a hysterectomy, but you still have the energy of that, and there's, there can still be imbalances. Maybe one you may have had. Your lungs, if you've had both your lungs removed, I come up with an imbalance there, we should work on. <laughs> okay, we're, last line, leave it alone. Don't need to check anything on that. And so, anyway, that's basically where I start, besides asking them what they want. You need to leave <laughs> Thank you. I hope you enjoyed watching that as Bill went through that, that scan and all that he had there. 
I want to invite you to go to our website and join our community in All Things Possible. We have a free gift there for you. It's the seven traits to create your thriving life. These are seven traits and principles that if you will implement them into your life right now and take them to a higher level if you already are doing them, you will change your life. It's seven videos. They come to you over two weeks. gives you plenty of time to watch the videos and actually implement those in your life. So go to the website right here on the screen, www.allthingspossible.biz. Again, www.allthingspossible.biz. Thank you for being a part of our community. Like us on YouTube. Find us on Facebook. We love to have you be part of our community. We do a lot of free content, a lot of good training and tools for you, and we would love to work with you personally. So go to our website, join our community, and we'll see you next time here on All Things Possible TV. Bye-bye.